Morgan Stanley is out with third quarter earnings on Monday before the markets open. Here with a preview is Ken Leon, an equity analyst with S&P Capital IQ. And Ken, it's nice to have you here. What's the biggest thing you'll be watching out for in the report? The, the big thing for Morgan Stanley is the stable recurring revenue coming from its wealth management business and also uh, in areas that are not as volatile um, as in the capital markets for trading. You know, we've already had uh, JP Morgan and Bank of America Merrill Lynch report, um, and the picture looks that for Morgan Stanley, uh, they're in the right place. Not only in what I just described, but even in areas of trading, uh, Morgan Stanley has focused areas in fixed income, less exposure to the U.S. Treasuries, which have been volatile and right now soft. All right, I want to talk about J.P. Morgan in a moment, but you mentioned trading revenue for Morgan Stanley in second quarter. The bank beat Wall Street's forecast by the top and bottom lines, largely on the heels of a rise in trading revenue. And are we going to see that same kind of story in third quarter? So it's going to be net positive. The answer is yes, and that's coming from equity trading, uh, more than offsetting, either flat or soft fixed income trading which goes across treasuries to commodities to currencies. All right, and J.P. Morgan missed profit and revenue estimates during its third quarter. I mean, does that worry you? Does that signal some doom and gloom ahead for the banks, or you know, was it simply a matter of estimates that were just too high? Well, part of it is uh, the markets, but a, a bigger part, I think, for J.P. Morgan was de-risking their balance sheet and then also what capital they have on the trading floors. So. Um, you know, part of that was more J.P. Morgan specific okay. uh, than even what I expect from Morgan Stanley next Monday. All right. And from Morgan Stanley, do you think we'll get some sort of comment on the Fed's looming rate hike, which many economists say will come in December? Well, rates actually are a good thing for firms like Morgan Stanley as they have, you know, sizable deposits coming from uh, being one of the largest wealth management firms, you know, with a large advisor force. All right, and you have a buy rating on the stock, or what you guys call a strong buy rating. Shares are down double digits so far in 2015. Where is the stock headed? Uh, we think higher. Um, you know, uh, the capital markets always goes into these periods of high volatility. Um, I think when you see the picture for 2016, and even in the fourth quarter, the areas that are weak in the third quarter, uh, which could be equity underwriting and fixed income trading, tend to pick up in the fourth quarter. So perhaps the stock is trading at somewhat of a discount and now is the time to get in? We would agree with that. All right, Ken Leon with S&P Capital IQ previewing Morgan Stanley's third quarter earnings again, which are released on Monday. Ken, thank you. Thank you. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.